Yeah, sure. Very pleasing uh, start. You know, to the league, we, we we targeted coming here to to our own field and Semple Stadium to make sure that we uh, came out of the traps early, and and we're happy with the way we performed this evening. Yeah, and you've got four uh, league uh, debutants out there today: Johnny Ryan, Gerald O'Connor, Keno Dwyer, Sean Ryan. Impressed with them lads, they're all kind of getting that first uh, league game out of the way, and, and all performed fairly well. Yeah, that's it. All all good young men, all here and. On the performances for their uh, for their clubs and their colleges, you know, we're in, in this Tipperary squad at the moment that that are putting up their hand to, to for a starting place, hopefully, or or into our match day panel for come championship. So, um, you know, we've a number of other players to look at as well as this league goes on, and and you know that's what we'll be doing in the league is to unearth as many new players as we can. Yeah, and the subs you brought on, um, even some of the more experienced lads, uh, all, all done well when they come on. I suppose there's a lot of competition, I'd imagine, in that panel now at the minute. Yeah, we, we have a healthy competition at the moment, but as I said, like we have lots of tests coming. Obviously, a big one next weekend now in Nolan Park uh, with our near neighbours Kilkenny, and then and then we go from there to uh, you know to take on uh, Dublin and, and, and Waterford uh, as the league progresses. So plenty of big challenges coming and plenty of opportunities for new players to put their hand up. And what are you expecting from that game now against Kilkenny next week? It's probably going to be a few levels above what we probably saw here today. Yeah, sure. You know, it'll be a typical. Tipperary Kilkenny encounter in Nolan Park it'll be nothing spared by both sides and uh, you know I think both both players and both sets of management will be hoping to get as much as they can out of the game yeah. Liam um, I didn't catch the start there I don't know if I'm going over all ground yeah, go ahead. No happy with the performance big big total racked up a lot of new faces getting their first league starts a lot of positives from the match like. yeah a lot of positives it's always good to get a, a good start um, you know a lot to like about us tonight but there'll be some areas of our play maybe where we maybe over elaborated a little bit and again took maybe one or two wrong options in the ball but but we look at that it's a work in progress every night we come to the field we'll have more learnings again from from next weekend as we go along so um, yeah but, but, in, but to answer your question I'm very happy with tonight's work Yeah great to see some of the newer lads stepping up and making an impact but equally to see Patrick Maher to start the first half he was excellent in the first half yeah no no definitely Bonner retains all his all his uh, I suppose uh, energy and enthusiasm he had since, since the first day he joined and he's, he's a big leader in our dressing room and he shows that on the field as well so very happy to, to get him back out onto the field and get good quality hurling into him for uh, I think just for around 40-45 minutes there throughout, the, throughout that game tonight so very happy uh, I could be cutting across the boys. Right, right, yeah. uh, good energy shown there. The professional kind of performance. Yeah, good performance. Um, just I suppose look you you look for that. Obviously, when when the scoreboard is 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 taken on and and you know the game is put the maybe put the bed early. It, it does tend to allow a little bit of complacency to set in. But I was happy with the way our guys applied themselves right through the game tonight so that was a big positive for me that they continue to, to keep working to what we, we, we spoke about before we came out What sort of uh, shape is Seamus Callan in Liam and any time we might, timeline we might see him? Yeah Seamus is working behind the scenes with us uh, in training working really hard and yeah I'd expect you yeah, hopefully to see Seamus over the next uh, next couple of weeks It was announced I think in the last day or two that Gerard Brown is out for the year what's his status? Yeah Gerard unfortunately had a has a, a reoccurring ongoing knee issue and uh, you know when we investigated it further during the week it, it showed up that it would require surgery so we're, we're you know just unfortunate to, for Jair and unfortunate for us as well that Jair will, will more than likely miss the remainder of the season through, through that injury so very disappointing news but Jair is very young and he's a guy that will be back uh, very soon when he gets gets that sorted out. Connor, Connor Stakelham hobbled off there. Is it anything serious? Is it a knee or an ankle? Or yeah, it's it's a hamstring injury, I think. Sure. So we need to get a handle on that as well as soon as we can in the morning and see where we are with that. But again, that would be a concern for me. Connor Stakelham is is you know very good tonight. Has had a really good uh, you know South East League campaign as well before prior to this. So um, and hopefully it's not going to be too bad and, and see can we get it back on the field as soon as possible. You might have been touched upon, but you had 14 different scores there today. You must be pleased with that. Yeah, good spread of good spread of scores. Um, it's a good sign that fellas are, are trying to do the right thing on the ball and you know try to to play as a unit and a team. I think that's what we all aspire to as, as managers and players is to get a real team performance every day we go out. And you know when you see an array of scores like scores like that, it definitely gives you great encouragement that fellas are are playing together as a team. Last question, and there's a bit of excitement like that. It was a decent crowd for a league opener again for us. Was 
maybe there was talk maybe it might be small enough but like there's there's a sense of excitement around this group of players amongst the, the general support yeah well that's that's good to have I think you know this team is very much in the stage of you know finding its way again I suppose we are as a management team as well tr- doing our best to try and you know get the blend and the balance right um, but it is a good competitive group we have a good group of ambitious play um, uh, ambitious players that are uh, you know that try to achieve high standards every day to go out so um, you know it's exciting for me as as manager with these fellas to see what more we can find in them as the league progresses